Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So we're going to continue looking at spreadsheet functions. Um, really useful if you're studying ICT, IGCC. And in this video, video, we're going to be looking at lesson seven. Um, we're going to be using the average if function. So the average if function is very similar to the sum if. So the sum if is used um, when we're adding with a criteria. And the average if will also do the same thing. It will basically work out the average based on the particular criteria. So let's go ahead and look at lesson seven. Please uh, check out the previous videos as well. Um, okay, so what do we have here? So task one, use the average if function to work out the averages based on the criteria. So, so the criteria will be here. We'll have two things we'll, that we'll be looking up, um, either total sales or total income. So we'll refer to the colors for that. So what is it that we have? So we have some uh, movie names, the type, so DVD or Blu-ray, uh, genre, shop, the price, and then weekly sales up to week four. Okay, so let's work out the average. So this is the normal average um, function. So if I just highlight uh, week one all the way to week four, uh, which is uh, J7, that works out the average sales um, over the week. Okay, you can see you got uh, two decent weeks, week one and week three, and then two really bad weeks, week two and four, which has brought down the average. Um, so let's drag this down. So that's based on all of this information, the average. Okay, the highest, we're going to use equals max. And we can highlight uh, from week one to week four, work out the average. Right, so that's the straightforward part done. Um, we're going to be coming to the average if in a moment. So we need to use these two columns. So for total sales, what we need to do is sum up the sales from week one to week four. And let's just close the bracket. So that adds all of, all of these numbers up together. So from week one, week two, week three, and week four. Let's drag this down. And let's just center align everything. Right, so now what we can do is use the average if. So we want to um, only look at the average um, sales um, from HMV. So this is going to be where the criteria appears. If I was to do here equals average at the bottom, okay, that's the average for all of the movies. So, you know, um, on average, we're selling about 109 movies. Okay, so let me just uh, get rid of the um, decimal point for now. Okay, so 109 would be the average. Let's say, for example, if I was to increase X-Men to um, 75, you can see the average goes up across um, up to 120. Right, so average if. So if I type in here equals average if, Let's read this uh, description here. So finds the average for the cells specified by a given condition or criteria. So the range, so the range is basically where is the criteria going to be. So the criteria is shops. So we're going to be looking in this range of cells. And if you checked out the previous video, guys, we have used absolute cell referencing to lock a range of cells. Comma, the criteria is going to be HMV comma and the average range is what do we want to find the average of and it's going to be from the total sales so again we're going to refer to the color let me lock this so what's going to happen here is um, we're going to look up this range for hmv we're going to take this value here 137 we're going to come down we see hmv again we take this value i think there's only two hmvs um Add it together, divide by two, since there's only two HMVs, and that should give us the average only for this particular shop. Okay, so let's drag this down. And you can see that we've done the same thing for Amazon. And version as well. Okay. So you can see HMV, the average here is above the total average. But then Amazon and Virgin, the average is below the total average here. Right, uh, let's do the same thing for 
the genre, okay? So again, type in here equals and an average if. So this is a, a criteria here, comedy, action, and horror. In which range do you see this information? So you, see, so you can see that information in, in this range of cells. We can lock it. Criteria, we can click on it. So this will change when you drag down the formula, when you replicate it. And again, we want to refer to the sales again. So highlight this range of cells here. Uh, I'll lock it. So again, what's going to happen is if we see comedy in this range, we take this value here. And then we see comedy again, we take this value. And comedy again, we take that value, add it up, divide by three, since it's three comedies. And that will work out the average only for comedy. Whoops. All right, let me drag this down. There we go. So you can see comedy is slightly above the average here, but the other two action horror is just slightly below the average. Okay, I won't do the last one. I'll leave that up for you guys. And let's do the total income. So for total income, it's going to be price times total sales. So the price of one DVD or Blu-ray times the amount that we've sold. So if I click on here, equals, click on price times... Uh, total sales okay now we're going to work out the average based on the uh, total income so we'll do it on the shops again so equal um, average if look at the criteria in which range of sales can you see the criteria so again you can see it in shop let's lock this comma the criteria is H and V comma and then the average range is going to be from here. This is where we want to work out the averages from. And let's lock this. So again, when we lock these cells, they're not, not going to move position. Only the criteria will move position when we drag this down. So what's going to happen is, again, if we look up the range, we match it to HMV, go across to take this value here. And then we, again, we see HMV, we go across to here, we take that value, add them together, divide it by two, and that works out the average income um, for HMV uh, based on them two movies. Okay. And you can see the first movie was making about 1300 and the second movie from HMV was making about 1700 And this is like the value in the middle once it's been averaged. Okay, let me just do change that to currency. And what you can do, guys, is you can just um, do a quick check to see if it is working. So let's just add up these two values. So this is the first HMV one. Uh, this is the second one. So we work out what's in the brackets first, divide by two, and we've got the same answer. So that's basically what the average if is doing. It matches up the criteria in a range, goes across and takes these values, and then works out the average. Okay, uh, I hope that makes sense, guys. So the average if, some if, works um, in similar ways. Um, they're using a criteria. So you can have the range. That's where the criteria will be. And then in these examples, guys, the criteria has been relative to the position. So you can drag it down and it can change. And the range and the sum range or the average range, um, if I click on here, sorry, here, these two ranges have been locked in range and then the average range. Right, thanks for joining me in this video. I hope that makes sense. Please join me in the next video. Drop your comments be below, like and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again for your time. Bye-bye.